All right, so step one is to find the combined mass of the evaporating dish plus a watch. So here's the dish, then here's the watch, and the combined mass is 73.28 grams. All right, now we gotta add two and a half grams of this substance, sodium bicarbonate. And it should equate to 44 or 45.44 grams. Remember, be careful with the height of Clark. There we go. That's perfect. Now measure out 5 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and add all 5 milliliters a few drops at a time until all the bubbling from the reaction stops. Now carefully tilt the evaporating dish back and forth so that way all the hydrochloric acid touches all the rest of the baking soda. Now have to make sure all the bubbling has stopped, you place the watch glass curved side up on your lip. All right, now gently heat the evaporating dish on your hot plate and avoid spatter. And when all the liquid is gone, replace the watch glass on the evaporating dish. Leave a small opening for vapor to escape. Heat gently again until no liquid remains. When the substance is completely dry and there's no more condensation on the watch glass, turn off the burner and then take off with gloves, the watch glass and the evaporating dish and allow it to cool. After your evaporating dish is cooled, you're going to want to find the combined mass of the watch glass, the substance within the evaporating dish, and the evaporating dish itself. And it came out to be 74.91 grams. Alright, so we start out with the mass of the evaporating dish and the watch glass, which was our first measurement, which is 73.28 grams. And then in our next steps, we found the mass of the evaporating dish, the watch glass, and the baking soda, which turned out to be 75.77 grams. And then after all the heating and cooling and adding of the hydrochloric acid, we weighted the glass and the evaporating dish and the substance again for 74.91 grams. Once you get all those measurements, you're going to use them to answer the following questions.